what up what up what up guys it's been a little minute since we did a little vlog i know it's staying consistent with it but you know black friday and all that shit was just absolutely fucking madness so i was kind of just like dialed in with the work first off i gotta give a huge shout out to everyone who participated slash showed up to our first trinity run cult i want to call it because this is like on, seriously you guys are on some like different kind of level of support it's crazy bro like at least once a week or a few times a week i'll just be out doing some shit whether i'm on a run or whether i'm grocery shopping or walking kobe or doing something shopping yesterday someone is coming up to me and showing me love always and be like damn levi watch the videos bro like you know you're an inspo or you know the shit that you do is inspiring blah 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 and it's crazy because i really don't feel like i have that big of a following but of the people who do support me it's like extremely loyal and it's fucking it makes me feel amazing when you guys you know show love but it's not like you're just showing love on some fan shit bro like you guys are people who connect with the content and that's why this is a run cult it's not a fucking run club bro everyone's doing these fucking cringy ass run club you know but i feel like we're just more than that but yeah as you guys know we are leading up to the marathon training content type of shit because that is what we're doing that's what we're dialing in right now okay last few videos that i've been posting over the last couple months have been all like just heavy lifting trying to put on that size trying to get fucking d's you know but now we're cutting that back we're dialing that back and we're starting to up the running which i'm gonna be real with you guys is an extremely hard transition to go from Lifting heavy to running is way harder to go from running to start moving into heavy lifting. Today, I'm doing my first 13 mile run since the marathon. I did 10 miles last week. It's definitely time to, you know, get a little bit skinnier. Definitely time to start logging the longer runs. So yeah, we're pulling up to Santa Monica right now. I'm gonna go get this work in with my boy Austin from Undefeated. And let's go smash this half marathon today, baby. Let's go. All right, we're about to get started. Got my bottle ready. Got my electrolytes ready for my post run. Might dispose of the tea on the way back. Final sip of water. I'll just check back in with you guys after this run with Austin here. There you go, it's 13 in the bag. Shout out my boy Austin. Yes, sir. Fucking pushing the pace. He's going for a sub 245 this year, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. 245, what is that? That's uh, sub six miles? Six, six minutes? The whole way. Six minutes the whole way. Just to put it into perspective how fucking insane that is. <sighs> oh. What do we do after a 13 mile run? It's cheat day, baby. This is where we celebrate. This is how we celebrate, right, little boy? Mm. Shit hits different post 13 mile run, baby. Just fucking know, okay? The way this hits is insane. Mm. As I'm eating it, I'm like, fuck, I wish I got two. But every time I eat two, I feel fucking like actually sick. So I just do a three stack. All right? That's how we spend our Sundays, but it's Monday morning right now. I'm fucking a little tired and out of it. Still feeling the effects of the 13 milers because I definitely went a little faster than I wanted to go. A little morning coffee here, Intelligentsia. I don't know what it's been lately, but I've been having like crazy morning allergies. Check it out. This is my local flower shop. They have like tons of crazy like exotic flowers that I stay keep in the house. I'll show you guys these new flowers that I just got from here the other day. So. This is pretty much part of the morning routine. Ride in one of these scooters. Kobe follows behind. Come on, buddy. I'm trying to make this fucking yoga class, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. Come on, buddy. Daddy Levi needs a little bit of me time because my body's feeling the after effects of that 13 miles yesterday. Plus, I gotta make it into the office for 11. See, that's the thing. It's like I'm adjusting to this new, this new office life hours kind of thing. You know, I'm not really used to a daytime type of job. Unfortunately, did not make it home in time for my yoga class. It's all right, we're starting a little bit later off today, but you know, it was my fault. Woke up a little bit late today. But check out the flower place that I was just showing you guys. 
Check out these exotic ass flowers, bro. Super, super, super proper. I gotta change the water in them right now. Every two days, they told me. I'm not gonna lie, these flowers cost me fucking $300. <laughs> I actually feel like, you know, flowers probably give me some little inspiration when it comes to like color palettes and shit like that. They actually, the flower shop, like, the owner was telling me he flies a lot of his exotic flowers and stuff in from Holland. And you know, I'm sure some people watching this are like, oh, why would you spend $300 on flowers that don't last forever, blah, blah, blah. Well, whatever, I'm sure I could say the same shit to some person who went to the fucking club, spent $300 on a bottle, or bought a pair of shoes that they never fucking wear, or bought some shit that they just don't fucking need. For me, flowers make me happy. I feel like it's money well spent for me, it's good for my soul, so that's why I do it. Change the water real quick. I don't know what my generation is called, but you know, I was born in 89, so social media didn't really become a thing until I was probably in like my early 20s. You know, back then when I was posting on Instagram, it was like just like fits and like some food and stuff like that. Like now just the whole world operates off of social media. So I was able to experience high school life and college life without social media. You know, coming from someone who makes money off of social media and has kind of, you know, built my following and stuff like that. I know when I'm getting pulled too far in it, meaning like I'm just looking too much like either at what other people are doing or I'm spending too much time on my phone and I've developed or I feel like I have enough self-awareness to know like, okay, yo, this is like pulling me mentally in a direction or creating habits that just don't make me feel good, that aren't good for me. Like, all right, I get it, bro. We're all gonna have a little bit of scroll time, like, you know, whether it's before bed or some shit or like whatever, you're just like, you know, here and there. But like the moment you start to find yourself like just scrolling for too long and you're just wasting time, bro, like, you have to be able to stop. You gotta know when to pull yourself out of it. And that's the problem with a lot of people who are part of the younger generation is that those who grew up with social media throughout high school, college, and this and that, they never knew what it was like to have life without it. But when you're young, it requires effort, you know what I'm saying? Like developing hobbies and things that are good for you. For me, it was flowers. Like I didn't even realize that I liked flowers until I started going to farmer's markets. And I'm realizing, oh shit, like this actually makes me feel good. I love the feeling of waking up and looking at the fresh flowers, changing the water, taking care of them. So I just wanna say to all you people out there watching this, be careful with how much time you spend on your phone. Don't get caught up fucking scrolling at shit, judging others, comparing yourself. You gotta know when it's time to put it down and be like, all right, I'm gonna go fucking fill up my water bottle. I'm gonna go make some food. I'm gonna go for a little walk. I'm gonna go, you know, do something else. But it starts first with just providing self-love and care and being open. You know what I'm saying? Be, you, gotta, you gotta be open to trying new things and shit like that. We got lunch prepared for work. Just some rice, ground lamb, miso roasted carrots, bok choy, a little bit of egg. making this fucking dinner and I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, bro, like, just feeling fucking kind of burnt out, you know? Black Friday was insane and honestly, I feel like it was just so busy that we're just still catching up on order. So I want to give a, first off a big shout out to everyone who, who cop from Black Friday and say, yo, from me to you guys, my bad on just being late with that. Um, fuck shit, it was just like crazy for that. I'm not even trying to fucking lie. No, but the molly's going. So I'm just starting to lean out, you know, I'm trying to drop that weight right now. I feel like I'm going to be more yoked this time around because I've added some muss during the off season. Off season for me was like, I want to say it was, yeah, it was September, October, November. It's pretty much like off season for me. I was like just fucking bulking and like whatever, you know. Now it's fucking getting, it's a, well, it's actually preseason right now. Right now it's preseason, and then come Gen 1, bro, we are fucking dialed in for reg season, okay? Playoffs time, baby, is March, pretty much, okay? Leading up to March, and then March, I believe, 19th or 20th, the LA Marathon. That's the cup final, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's the cup motherfucking final, the championship final. You already know the Super Bowl. The World Cup, aka the y'all already know what the fuck it is because I be running 26.2 in 330 or less this year of fam. Anyways, I'm cooking this din.
put the marbling on that. Start with the salad. Some pesto, heirloom tomatoes, avocado. Mmm. Spoonful of rice with a piece of meat. Look at that bite. If I just had some guac, bro, I'm lacking on the guac. Whatever, we got the avocado from the last thing, but check it out. Mmm. Morning of, we got a flight today, back to Toronto, Christmas holidays with the fam. But first, before your boy hops on, you know, five and a half hour flight, we gotta get some work in, all right? As you can see, dialed in, got the tidy whiteies on, dick bulge looking mid as per usual, but that ain't stopping us from dialing in today. So let's go get this work in. I'll check in with you guys after. <sighs> Done. Today we did, 7.22 miles, average time 827. Runs like today are not for speed. We're just trying to get the body acclimated to spending this much time on our feet. Your boy's drenched. See? Drenched. That's what fucking an hour of work looks like, baby. We're starting to lean out a little bit. I've lost maybe like three, four pounds. So the journey continues, baby. Let's go. All right. This is the JS Sweets, courtesy of Kai, hooked it up. So basically you just sit in this little suite room before boarding your flight and they just take you straight to the plane. And now they have a little bit of brekkie being served. Mm. Fired up some eggs, potatoes, a little bit of bacon. Got the babies ready to board the flight. Mm. Appreciate that, thank you. Look at that. Thank you. Up, come on. Come, Toby. What up, guys? It's Christmas morning here in Toronto. It's actually surprisingly, it's cold out, but it's not that cold. We're in the process of about to open some presents, but also family uh, starting off the festivities with some arguing regarding the uncleanliness of the house. So what's going on, Dad? Are you finding that this Christmas everyone's kind of doing a little bit more arguing? No, no. No? Not at all. It's all right. just, I think just everybody said get used to the house, right? Right, 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 right. Getting used to it. All right, so before we can get started, your boy is very not okay with uh, dog hair. So, <laughs> you know, we gotta clean. All right, so the house is officially somewhat organized. The jetty picture. That's when you know you're the family favorite. It's gift time, chef. Yeah. This is uh, for me, Kai, and Jet. Okay, and this is for Kai. Got And this is for Dad. Wow, that's Show the camera, shirt. Dad. Where do you get that shirt, Nupi? It's yours. Is it? Oh my god. You should do all my shirt, dude. You should just like, oh my god, this is a nice shirt, Nupi. Beautiful, Nup. Let me see. Thank you. Look at this. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's a really cool rework. Wow, did you see this? Hey, Levi, you see this? All stitches. I oh, know. Dad. Very sticky. Is it? Oh yeah, I liked it. Yeah. I, let me see. I will roll yeah. it out. I want to see. Try it. Try it. Is it sticky? Oh yeah. Yeah? It's really grippy too. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my. Okay. Is this from you, Mom? Yeah. Interior design book. Thank you. I'm trying to keep this all clean. Here. What is this? Wow. Skin wellness. Wow, is one second. It was good. Try one. Mmm. I'm going to go with you. <laughs> mm. What is it? Jeez! Murakami it? puzzle. Oh, I love that. Son, I love it. How did they know? How, How did they know? know? So, so I'm nice. getting so many what? great presents. This yeah, year. you got a lot of presents here. Oh, I'm so I don't have to order anymore. Oh my god, that's perfect. A lot. You know, Salt pack. 
you know, I was just looking at the 1,000 gram of uh, sodium. It's actually your body need about 2,000, it's okay. Yeah, I it was like, it's from dude. Jet. <laughs> I thought it was like, uh, wow. Thanks, my dude. Look at my dad. From my shell. Bad luck. Who got you that? From me and Kai for yes. Jet. Yeah? Yes. You got it. I don't know. Yes. Let me see. What is this? St. Michael. Oh, oh. This is Levi. What's this one? Gee! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But you gotta open the bag too. Oh my god. Let's see if you. I is... don't even know if you'll like it. The perks of having a wealthy son, right? Jesus Sons. Christ. <laughs> Jeez. How do, you, how do you open it? You take these out. Oh, okay, this doesn't open. Do you like the color? Yeah. Oh my god, what else? What is this? I don't know if you'll like it. We can always return it. What is it? Chrome Hearts? No. Patek Philippe. Oh my god, you guys, that's insane. Let's see this one goes on top. Yeah. Smaller? Smaller. Jeez! Huh? Had to ice the kid, boy. Shout out Kai for lacing the boy with the. You guys see it? Yes, oh. there and there. Yeah. 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 XL, right? Yeah. Opium. Like it, mom? Yeah. I like the Saint ones a lot. Same kind of shit. Yeah. Oh wow, that's really nice. Let me see that one. What did I not open them? Yes? From my mom. Oh, Alright, Christmas presents have concluded. We're on to the first meal of the day.